all right ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another video today we have two plats up against five coppers so place your bets down in the comments below and let's see who is going to take round number one on oregon we are doing a best of three ranked rules so first of four and it looks like the coppers are going to be trying to push outside a big window right now we've got the lion the finca and iana outside of the big window currently smoke in kids trying to shoot out towards the window and stop the coppers from pushing in a smoke grenade is going to go out very early into the round doc's going to push up and attempt to help as it looks like the coppers are committing to this push my editor is going to grab the first kill of the game would you believe it lion goes down and now iana is going to rotate god knows where i think they're confused Flora's drones are coming out now as we're going to have Finca pushing up through the bottom of White Stairs. Smoke trying to play in the attic right now, but doesn't realize that Maverick is right behind him and he'll go down. It's all left to pro girl kisser on the dock. A 1v4 versus Coppers. Can the plat pull it off? The shots go off towards the, the Flores, but the shots will miss and he's going to start planning. And Optimism with the Finca will come up to the White Stairs and finish the Plats off. Round number one goes to the Coppers. All right, round number two is going to be started here. And it looks like the Coppers are going to try that big window push once again. It worked once. Who's to say it won't work twice? Maverick repelled on the big tower. Is actually going to do a ton of damage onto Mute. Who's now going to be on one HP. And Pro Girl Kisser, unfortunately for Mute, has swapped off of Doc. Opting instead for the pulse, and oh no, the Iana's right here, but he doesn't hear the run out. Pro Grokosa runs out, is able to take out the Iana, but Buck is able to instantly refrag. Pink is going to heal the team back up, and now it's the 1 HP mute versus 4. Can he win it? Shotgun's going up the white stairs. One player is going to get taken down. Two now. Mute's going off, but it's not going to win. It's not going to happen. Shotgun comes up with the zero. And he's able to take out the mute. Two rounds to the coppers down. All right, Sludge is going to aggressively push in. And Doc is going to punish him for that. One less copper for the plats to deal with. But Doc's going to need to get back to site quick as Monty's pushing in with the rest of his team. But Smoke's able to grab a kill. So the sense goes down. Smoke grenades to push back the Monty. And now the coppers are going to have to possibly rethink this push a little bit. Doc, all the way back on site, going to be peeking through the ace hole in the wall, trying to potentially get some shots off towards the Monty or a player behind him. And he's able to do that a little bit. Twitch takes a small amount of damage, but Ace is going to push in to Elbow now, opening up that wall. Monty following right behind him, and Doc's going to be trying to contest this the best that he can. Mute pushing in towards Supply, and we're going to see Twitch all the way inside of E-Box, trying to push into site. Taking sight now as Smoke is trying to contest from Pillar. And he'll grab that kill. Ace trying to refrag on the tarp's door. Ace and Monty, the last two remaining. Not a bad duo to have. But is it going to be enough? Monty's going to be ADSing in through the holes that Ace made while he contests Pillar. But oh no, both of the plats are trying to destroy him right now. And Pro Grokas is going to go down the Monty through the ace hole in the wall. And now it's all left to smoke in the 1v2. The ace is low. Monty pushing in through elbow right now. He is going to take a little bit of damage, but ace is going to be pushing in now. The down from smoke, but it's not going to happen. Ace comes in with the instant refrag. That round was honestly so close. All right, scoreboard check. My editor is currently carrying. Pro Girl Kisser is going to need to step it up here. If the Plats want to have any hope at pulling this game back. Match point for the Coppers. The rounds have been actually fairly close. Coming down to a 1v1 or a 1v2 every round. All we need is for the other player on the Plat team to pick it up a little bit. And I think we're about to see that. And hopefully see this game turn around a bit here. And here we go. Speaking of Pro Girl Kisser, repelled on... The game's window is going to light up and finish off the frost doing a little bit of damage onto the legion as well and here we go finally turn it up the cave goes down as well that's exactly what we needed to see 
Sludge going to be pushing over by Master right now. And he's going to be pretty much uncontested. Valk running out, though, trying to potentially stop him from doing that. But fortunately for Sludge, he'll be too far into the building. But oh, no. Pro Girl Kisser goes down. That lesion change instantly downing him as he hits the mine. Oh, apparently there's a frost mat as well. So, yeah, that'll do it. But a 1v1 here now as Sludge picks up the first kill of this 1v2. It's all up to the Valk behind the bunks on Big Window. Looks like Sledge is going to be trying to push in through Attic right now, but the Sledgehammer is going to miss, and Oos is risky. But he's going to be able to slide by, and he sees the Valk. Narrowly misses the headshot, but does get at least one body shot off, able to damage him at the very least. The plant's going to be trying to go off here now. And oh no, Valk sees the feet. This is bad. But Sledge is able to move in time. Minute and 20 on the clock, so plenty of time here. Definitely... A good thing for the Sledge as he pushes in. He's going to grab the shots and he'll finish off the Valk. Ensuring that the Plats do not lose. At least not yet. Alright, here we go on round number 5. We're going to need both of our Plat players to come together and try to win this round as we saw them do in the last one. Our Coppers are going to be, once again, upstairs. They're going to be bringing a mirror this time though. And they're going to set one up inside of Attic. And it looks like the Doc might be trying to play in there. Sludge nading from Garage up towards Armory, though. Pearl Girl Kisser going to get the kill that Sludge missed with the nade. Bandit goes down, and it looks like both of our Plat players are trying to do an east side push here. Pearl Girl Kisser is trying to get an angle onto the Mira. I'm not sure if he's going to be able to do it or not, but there's two players sitting on the Mira. Shots are going off from both players, and oh wow, Sludge able to do massive amounts of damage to the mirror, but the Doc is standing right there to heal him back up. He's going to do that, and well, it's going to be like nothing happened for the mirror, but he is going to take one more shot on the way out. Nice shot from the Buck, but Sludge is going to see that he needs to rotate over as, well, they're holding the same angle, so they need to switch it up a little bit. Our Coppers, though, are just playing Sight. They're just playing very safe, very passive. They know that all they need to do is wait out the clock. And they're doing a pretty good job of it so far. Pro Girl Kisser trying to maybe distract a little bit as Sledge is going to come in with a nade kill. And immediately after, Pro Girl Kisser with the buck going to grab a kill of his own. But oh no, Mozzie's able to refrag. Sledge goes down and now it's the buck versus two. Now he is low, but so is the Mozzie. And with the Doc being dead, he won't be able to get healed back up. They still have this mirror window in Attic. And Mozzie is playing, watching this rotate into Attic. So it doesn't look likely for the Buck to be able to push in through Attic like that. But we'll see. The Flash is going to come out. Trying to take out this barbed wire. Ooh, shots go off. Buck going to take quite a lot of damage here. Honestly, the Mozzie's going to be his biggest problem. Thorn just holding this rotate right now. Flashes go out. Going to quickly look away. Time is running out. The last, last flashbang comes out from the Buck, and he pulls out the shotgun for some reason, and, well, the Coppers are going to win map number one, four to one. All right, so one of the coppers is going to have to leave. So I think that's actually going to be fine because the plats or the plats were struggling a little bit. So we might do the 2v4 here and see if maybe things turn around. We'll see how long this copper player is going to stick around for. But in the meantime, they're going to be trying to open up the main breach rather um, badly, if I have to say. Pro Girl Kisser is going to be on the pulse, playing underneath, and he's going to find the Habana. He's going to be going through the shot through the window. He'll grab it, not doing a ton of damage, though. That is the hard breacher, though, so if he's able to finish off the Habana, it would be nice. It's also the diffuser. Glaz is pushing through the con and sight window, as it looks like Malusi is going to grab the first kill of clubhouse onto the glass so no more window push from the coppers but oh no look at this knock is up the top of red right now and optimism off can off screen will get a kill onto pro girl kisser pulse goes down it's just the malusi who's gonna get taken out as he just 
Rush is up the stairs. A spawn peek from Doc will grab a kill onto the Finca. So no more Finca for the Hopper players. And it looks like Wolfen's going to have to leave after this round. So we're going to be doing a 2v4 after this. But he's going to be here for this round. And he's going to be trying to help his team push through the main breach right now with Osa and Ace. Speaking of Ace, he's going to grab the first kill for the Coppers of this round. He's going to go down and... Oh no, what is that? Doc's going to run out the window and Optimism on the roof is there to take him out. Two rounds for the Coppers now, but one of them is going to leave. So we're going to go into a 2v4 and see if things turn around for the Plats. All right, here we go with round number three. Again, the Coppers are going to be down to four players. So we'll see if the Plats are able to turn things around now. They're also going to go to the downstairs bomb site. New operator, Ram, coming out for the Coppers. We'll see if that's going to have any effect on the round. This is actually a pretty good site to use Ram. So we'll see if that comes into play. But Maverick going to be opening up a hole to dirt and very swiftly taking it along with Ace right now. And that's going to be the Diffuser here as well. So it looks like they're going to be doing a big dirt push. Optimism on the Dokubi pushing in through Garage. Probably going to drop down to blue, but Doc's going to, or uh, excuse me, Warden's going to start, start us off with the first kill. The Maverick goes down and now Ram's going to be trying to rotate over to Kitchen. Probably trying to play vertical right now. And, oh, the C4 is actually going to destroy the Ram perfectly. Play C4 there by the Warden. Dokubi calls are going to come out as Dokubi is now dropped into Oil Pit. Minute and 50 seconds left now. Optimism doesn't know it, but he could just start shooting the wall and take out one of the players. But, oh, no. Ace is going to down Warden, but not quite finish him off. And he's going to be able to get docked back up. But Doc himself goes down, putting Ace on about 1 HP. Dokubi pushing in from Oil Pit is going to get downed now as the, mo the the Warden on 1 HP is going to be trying to defend against the rest of this push. He takes out the Ace and there's only one left on the bottom of main stairs. He's trying to shoot through these holes, but oh, there it is. Warden clutches it out and no match point for the Coppers. All right, here we go with round number four. The Coppers have opted to go to the downstairs bomb site here and it looks like both of our plots are maybe trying to do a blue take as they're outside of Garage and the new blue stairs. So we'll see what they're going to be trying to do. No site setup at all inside of Church. Doc actually opening up this wall. It's pretty interesting. Lion's going to be droning out the Garage. Probably just making sure everything's clear here. And I'm sure they're going to be trying to push down through Oil Pit. Doka be invert repelled on the new blue window right now. And Lion finally pushing into Garage. Going to take out that default cam. And the first scan goes out of the round here. Lion's trying to clear the map. But I don't think anybody from the Copper team is roaming. They're all going to be on site. Just bunkering up. Dokubi calls come out. And that's going to stop the Thorn from getting on cams. Now Dokubi pushing in through Oil Pit. Lion's going to be droning for her. And we'll see if they're able to make a push out of this. Blue is all opened up on the armory side and completely reinforced on the church side. So it's almost like the coppers were kind of anticipating this push. They've got it kind of set up to be just a death box right now. But oh, one shot will come out onto the Cade. Doing a fair amount of damage, taking him to almost about half now. Here comes Lion with the DMR as well, pushing in. Looks like they're wary of someone in dirt and they should be as that's going to be warded in there. Below half HP now as Dokubi is able to bring him down. And oh, Doc going to take some HP away as well. All of the coppers are pretty lit up right now. And Doc's down in a great position to heal everybody. Dokubi is going to take a fair amount of damage as well. But the flashbangs go out. The Dokubi calls and the lion scans. And the first kill of the round goes to the Dokubi. Rogue Rokas are trying to follow that up with the kill of the Doc. But he's going to get away with one HP. Not healing himself or anybody for some reason. But it won't matter. He'll pick up. The kill onto the Dokubi. It's all up to the Lion with the DMR. He'll down the Thorn, taking him out. The Doc's also going to be down somehow. Friendly fire. Warden's going to down the Doc. And, well, he's going to be able to stim himself back up. Flashbangs are coming out. It's all up to Lion to clutch this 1v2. Warden's going to go down. But Doc will surely be able to res. But he won't have time as 
Pro Grokester with the 2k right there, able to take him out. All right, it looks like our Plats are going to try to do another garage take, but they're going to be contested by Elysian, who's prone by the stairs right now, just watching the door. But it looks like Lion is not going to be stopped here. So he's going to be droning in, trying to take out the garage right now. Optimism pushing up onto the new blue stairs as well, potentially trying to help the Legion on the roam right now. Both players now have rotated towards the garage door, and wow, a great shot from the Osa to take him out. And the Legion player goes down. Optimism's going to head back to site now that he does not have another player to help him up there. Once again, the church walls are going to be soft, and all of the blue walls are going to be reinforced. But it looks like our plat players are going to be trying to push in here through blue once again no more dokubi though instead they've got the osa and the lion now they're gonna have a dock play inside of blue this time which is a little bit different than what they did last round i don't know if he has a rotate out or not but if he doesn't this could be bad news it looks like he doesn't have a rotate out at all so he's gonna have to run by both of the plats and well it's not gonna happen lion's able to take him out his crossfire was just too good there for the plats and now to 2v2 a minute and 30 seconds left and it looks like smoke is just not not in the game right now nowhere near to help optimism as osa is going to push into sight lion scanning out pushing in behind him plan's going to come out as the smokes go out as well pro brokers are going to grab one kill here as it's all up to smoke in the 1v2 he's going to get flashed now Osa setting up the shield and it's not looking good for shotgun whatsoever and he's gonna get taken out and the plats win yet another round all right we are back after a small little rehost and we also got two more copper players as one of them had to go and the other one disappeared so the plats had their few rounds of a 2v4 and they were able to bring things to match point but are they going to be able to continue that for the rest of this game we will find out Right now, we're going to have Lion pushing in through Bar, and Osa is going to be below stock for some reason. So a very split push coming up from our Plat players. We'll see if it ends up working for them or not. And you can see the Coppers have pretty much done a default site setup. They've even got Cade and all the walls reinforced up, except for that one at con, which Lion's going to be using to peek through into the site right now. Look at all the copper players stacked up on this wall. Everybody's just trying to get a shot at Lion right now. Osa is going to come in with the shield. And this honestly is not good. Both of the plat players are peeking the same angle. But Osa is going to be able to pick up one kill onto the Legion, throwing a trap. And Lion is going to grab another kill, going for three, but it's going to miss the shots. A zombie able to instantly refrag. But speaking of refrags, Osa will grab one. And now it's a 1v2. Minute and 30 seconds left, so plenty of time here. And both of the coppers are going to be inside of sight. Minute and 20 seconds left here. Osa's is going to rotate, probably trying to push through the window. God knows what these EMPs are for. Smokes are going to go out from smoke. Probably a little bit early for that. Zombie's going to rotate in behind the server rack all the way into garage now. Just making sure that Osa doesn't try to push in through garage. But she's going to be on the window. And we'll see who wins this gunfight. Ooh, Smoke actually almost grabbed the kill through the window there. But Keyman with the Zombie will pick up the kill. And it's now going to be 3-3. Three, three. That was a fairly close round to be fair though. All of our coppers are just in sight. Playing safe, playing passive. All they need to do is whittle down the timer. And it looks like they know that. No real defined push coming out from the plat players just yet. Their drones are going to start getting shot out. And they're slowly losing utility now. As the round goes on. A lion scan is going to come out. Flashbang already gone from the lion as well. Also going to be pushing underneath again. And there actually will be a player down here. It's going to be... Hoomzy on the Mozzie. He's going to be downstairs in lounge right now. The Lion's can comes out and the shots will hit Osa down to a little bit lower of HP. 
Lions actually got a drone on the Mozzie right now. So it looks like he's going to be trying to go for that kill. The plats are still pretty split up, but not pushing together at all right now. We'll see if that is going to bite them in the end, but Lions got pretty good intel on where the Mozzie is, but he looks the wrong way. The Z-Ping missing, giving him a bad indication of where the Mozzie is, and oh, wow, good shot from Poomzi is going to take him out. He's already dead, man. And now it's all left to Osa in the 1v5. It's not looking good whatsoever. The smoke grenades are coming out. C4s as well. It's all going to miss. Osa's going to pick up the first kill of the 1v5. Poomzi goes down in the Mozzie, and now it's all left to the four remaining coppers who are on site. 35 seconds left. It does not look good for Osa here, but he might have an opportunity to push up the red stairs, but Saturn's coming to contest that, and with Osa not looking the right way, he's going to go down, and it's going to be 4-3 to three now. All right, it looks like Maverick's going to be pushing in through Garage right now. Trying to... Push in through oil pit, it looks like. Pulse is going to be upstairs right now in honestly not that great of a spot, but he's going to be able to pick up a kill onto Iana. And Warden grabs a kill onto Poomzi, who was the Maverick trying to push in through oil pit. And now it looks like Sledge and IQ are going to be pushing in through new blue stairs, trying to get this blue push going, but I'm not sure if it's going to work out. All the copper players are actually here trying to push through but honestly this is not a good strat whatsoever but it's working for them iq is going to grab the first kill for the coppers onto the plats pulse goes down and now it's all up to the warden in the 1v3 it's going to light up grim but he's going to rotate to oil pit now trying to retrieve that diffuser saturn's going to rotate off allowing warden to have some 1v1s here and he'll pick up the first one onto grim He's going to have to try to take out the IQ who's pushing down the stairs, though. He's in a good spot for this. Sledge trying to push through main stairs right now. We're at kind of a standstill. as doesn't seem like the players know where each other are at exactly. IQ is going to be pushing into armory now. And Sledge on the main stairs. On the bottom of main, trying to push in. He-Man in blue now, peeking that rotate, but oh, great shots from Mozzie, or excuse me, Warden. 1v1 now onto the Sledge. They've got the C4 on the wall. That's another angle for the Sledge to take. That might not be what the Warden wants to do, but the shots come out, damaging Sledge up. The grenades are coming from the Sledge. A minute left. They have plenty of time, and oh no, Saturn's going to clutch it out. The Plats are going to lose 2-0. Putting up a pretty good fight in the second map, although it was a 2v4 for about two of the rounds. But either way, GG's. Thank you guys for watching. It was 1v5, chat. It was 1v5. Dapper says it was 1v5. Pro go catcher sucks. All my nuts. All right, Shocks editor. Dapper says that it was a 1v5. GG's. Thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.